Hey Fuzzy Goat family, Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia. I do not have my speaker on, so hopefully you can still hear me. I just realized, I forgot it. Um, but hopefully you can hear me. It's Tuesday, yay, happy Tuesday. I uh, hope everyone had a good week and a good weekend. We here at Fuzzy Goat survived a week without Cadence and Mr. Fuzzy Goat, but we are glad they got away and super glad that they're back. And yeah, as you can see, I finished, I'm gonna stand up, um, but. I, I have thrown my back out yesterday, but I'm doing much better today, thank goodness for doctors. And um, so I, I realize, you know, sometimes your body gives you signals that you need to listen to. So I'm gonna stand up. This is my Pop Rocks um, sweater. Stand back a little bit. There we go. And um, super fun. It's a fingering. I really loved this stitch. It's a unique stitch. It took a little longer, but it, it was definitely worth it. Fingering weight yarn. I use Ryan yarn. The contrast is super fun. I'm calling it my game day, my game day top. Um, sort of Auburn colors, not really, but um, love the orange. So bright and happy, and it's really nice to wear. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, and like I said, this was easy. Just took a little, little patience, but you know, and because you do it at the bottom too, it kind of made the the bodice go fast. I did add at least two or three inches, I think, in the body. I did, I think, put this last row down here, I think where they suggested it, um, because I didn't want it riding at my hips, you know, or, or lower in my body. Um, so I think it's, let me stand up again, I'll show you. Um, so it kind of hits right here, which is kind of where my waist is. And then I could decide if I wanted this longer, which I did do a little bit longer. And I think if you see in our pattern, I think it, this butts right up to the ribbing. But anyway, just so you can see, if you decide to make yours longer, you can decide to, you know, add this later um, or do like I did and just do it. I'm pretty sure I did it right where she said to do it and then just added length there. I might have added a little length. I think she said like five inches. Maybe it is five inches. But anyway, Pop Rocks are super fun. Um, what else? Yeah, I was super excited I got this done for football season. So I might, if, if you, locals are, I might have this on again Saturday. I don't know, just because Auburn, you know, kind of an Auburn color. All right, um, I'm trying to think what else. Okay, I can start talking about my patterns. Um, I'm getting a little bored with my current patterns. So I was gonna try to cast on yesterday, but like I said, I threw my back out, so I wasn't quite in the mind frame to um, start a new one, but I'm gonna show you what I was gonna cast on. I do have, a couple at home that I really would like to get started. So let's start down here. What do I got here? This is the Weekender Crew that we're starting a class shortly. And I hope you that maybe are not local will join us and kind of a knit along. And I have several, well I have several. I have made several of the Weekenders. I made one in worsted in a cotton. I made one in a fingering for myself. And then I made two others for um, close friends. So this is the Weekender Crew. I think somebody last week, I think, asked me for a picture. I have it, I happen to have it here with me somewhere. Oh, I meant to print that picture up too for you guys. Well, yeah, here it is. So the difference between this and her other Weekender patterns is the neckline, for one, and also the, um, the weight of the yarn. This is a DK. And, which is, it's a really good, I think, a good weight for this area. Maybe not much further south, but because it's not too heavy, but you can definitely wear it in the winter. So here is the Weekender Crew. You can also see the, it's the weight of the yarn, the crew neck, and um, the sleeves. So I feel like in her first one, I think the first one was a worsted pattern. I think, or maybe I'm backwards. And then she did the light, or maybe it's vice versa. But um, she she found out that people, the sleeves on that one were too tight. So she suggested that people could go up a needle size to, to loosen it up. And here it looks like she's getting a little, she got a little wider. I probably won't do quite that loose on the sleeves because I do like to be able to push mine up. But um, yeah, Andrea Mowry's Weekender Crew. And it is bottom up. I think I've mentioned that. Oh. Okay, so this, this is how I'm knitting it, right? You can see this is the knit side, but you actually wear it this way. You see that little design element there? It's kind of cool. I think it's really cool that you can hardly see it on the knit side because you're just slipping a stitch. So that's, there is it. Yeah, right here. 
Can't even see it. Where are my markers? Um, so it is bottom up. I think she suggests 30, 30, 13 inches in the body. I think I'm like 11, but I think I'm going to do it even longer from my other experience with the weekend draw one. I wish they had been a little longer. So it's kind of hard because it's bottom up to determine that, but I think I might go like 15 inches and I think I'm 11 from the back. And I did add uh, some length in the ribbing there too. So they just, I mean, this is, it's a lot of knitting because you are knitting, even though you wear it on this side, but it's real easy to take with you because you are just knitting. I have my markers here to tell me when I'm doing my little slip stitch and my edges. Um, so I don't have to bring my pattern. So in that respect, it's nice. And it's DK weight, so it goes a little faster. So the Weekender Crew, um, pick your size because she does have what's kind of like the ranunculus. There's a lot of ease in it. So just pick your size accordingly. I, th I think I'm doing the second or third size. Now that I say that, I can tell you because I have my pattern right here. Uh, because I didn't want it, I want it to be kind of like a sweatshirt. So I am making, I'm making the fourth size, which is a finish width of 46. So I did do my gauge swatch, so that should be six inches of ease for me. So it's not too big, but should be comfy comfy for other football days that Auburn's not playing because I'll be wearing this. I just love this orange. But um, my son is going to homecoming this weekend and he is going with a friend, an acquaintance, whatever. And I said, what color is her dress? And he said, orange. And of course, I just immediately thought of this. And he's, I said, well, what are you going to wear? Do you need a tie to go with that? And he's like, yeah. I said, what color are you going to get? He said, orange. I'm like, ooh, like that. I mean, his orange can be I guess these are pretty similar, but I mean, orange can be hard to match. So now we will find out what color. I suggested like a blue, like an Auburn blue. And we'll see, we'll see what he ends up doing. Anyway, okay, so talked about that one. Let me talk about this one. This is also one, I love wearing my look squirrel. I think I wore it last week and it's really fun to make. I'm kind of in a part right now Let's see, this, this is a gift for my sister. So if anybody watching, don't tell her. This is gonna be for Christmas. She loves purples and she has all kinds of really fun glasses. So I think this will be really fun. Um, I'm done with the lace work, you can see there. Probably will block this out so it'll just lay, you know, open up a little bit. I'm using, um, it's a DK, I'm using Sweet Georgia and I am really liking the, the yarn. I don't know if you can see, it's got really nice stitch definition and it's just nice to work with. And um, what was I gonna say? Oh, Lynn says she likes, yeah, it's just like, Lynn likes knitting the looks well too. This is my second one, which you guys know I don't often do repeats. I am at the section for those of you that made it, I have just a lot, I think 16 rows of just knitting and, and purling back and forth. And then in, what else? Then I'll do my last increase then I should be ready to separate the sleeves, which is always super exciting. And then it's just squirreling, as, I, as she says in the pattern. So anyway, so that's a fun one. And most of all, it's fun to wear. I haven't decided on her sleeves for my sister. I did three quarter length sleeves, which I love, but I'm thinking for her, I may do, hi Lila, Lila's watching and Lois, thank you for watching guys. Um, I might do long sleeve for her, but I haven't quite said, or what I probably would do is do what the pattern calls for, which I think is not quite long, long. I think, I have to check. My sister also has long arms like I do, so there's that. All right, so I can always leave, another thing I just thought of, leave um, like a lifeline in there or something if she wanted it longer or shorter, right? I could always do that. But that's the awesome thing about being able to knit. Sue is watching, thank you, Sue. I know, I love this, I just love this orange. So happy. All right, I'm still digging out my, I just can't believe how much better my back feels today. Unbelievable. All right, so what is this that I'm, okay, I'm not going in order here. Clearly I have decided, yeah, I did this. I am not a sock knitter. As I get the concept and it sounds really awesome and to have the small project to go around it. This is not what I pick up when I have time to knit. It's, whoa, wanna make sure I wasn't losing time. I don't, I love this yarn. I, I think it's super fun. I love what's happening here, but I just don't pick this up. So let me tell you where I am. Not much further. I made myself, I think, knit this yesterday. I finished the heel part, and I don't know if you can see, 
I probably have maybe a half an inch that I'm gonna do, maybe an inch. What happened to your, oh, I just threw it out yesterday. Yeah, just it just locked, seized up, could hardly breathe. It was bad. Bad, but the doctor helped me fix it up. I had been getting other signals from my body that I was ignoring and kept playing tennis and working out and I shouldn't have. Shame on me. So now I'm paying for it, but I am doing much better. Thank you. And Leslie is watching. Hi, Leslie. Leslie is my, can I say my oldest and dearest friend? I guess I can. Um, we actually grew up together. Um, yeah, since the seventh grade. Anyway, so this is, um, she must be on fall break because she works at school now. I think that the sock. So I get it. I get that it should be something I want to pick up and take on the go, but like, I think I'd rather take my weekender sweater or the look squirrel. I don't, I don't get it. And Teresa's not much of a uh, sock mirror. I'm going to, I'm going to finish these. And I, even when I tried it on last night in my dismay, I was like, I'm just not loving these. So maybe I just haven't right, found the right sock pattern. I don't know, but we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to keep going and give it a good old try. Good old college try, is that what they say? Um, oh, Sally, yes. Actually, I didn't think about that. And, oh, this is a nice Halloween color. And, you know, this is really funny. I went to see my daughter in Auburn and uh, a couple, well, probably about a month now, over a month. Anyway, her friend was there and she had on a Halloween t-shirt. I said, oh, I love your t-shirt. She goes, oh, I love spooky season. And I went, huh? I, it took me a hot second to figure out what she was talking about. I'm like, you mean Halloween? <laughs> She's like, yeah, spooky season. And it just made me chuckle. Like every time I think about it, it just makes me chuckle. Spooky season. It, it sounds, it, it sounds like it sounds right. But I don't know. It just caught me off guard. All right. So this one that I was, okay, this is one that my sister did pick out and I think I'm, I'm enjoying this. And I think this is going to be a really nice when it's done. This is, let me see what I've written it down. Um, the, the pattern is a little silver shrug, okay? And I've made her shrugs before and she loves them, but some of them like kind of come like this. This I think is going to sit more like a sweater, if that makes sense. Um, Ellen is more of a sweater. And I think you, I mean, I don't, I'm not opposed to the socks, but it's just not something that I go for. It's really interesting. So what's happening here? So this is, you can see I started over here. This is a little lace on the edge, which is going to be one of the sleeves. And I'm just really, I guess, doing a rectangle. I don't do any increases right now. I'm doing basically stocking it in here and then carrying this lace on either edge. And then when I'm done, I'll just tack it on the sleeve and you can tack it just a little bit like if you want to do right here or I probably go a little further so it won't fall off her shoulders but um so this this is fun this is using a lightweight fingering this is Fino so if you go to the Fino page you will find the link to the pattern um also on the Weekender crew and the squirrel if you go to hopefully any of our DK patterns ah, Sue don't call me out like that hold on I'm going to talk about that but if you go to the other um DK patterns um, you will find those patterns linked there too. So Sue just asked me about my drawing sweater. So now that Cadence is back and I, I'm like, yes, I need to pick mine up again because I need to finish my sleeves. That's, that's where I am with it. And my, my, I need to get something else off the needles and I'm going to pick that one up. That's my thought. And it's going to take me a hot second. I got to get, I think I might have waited too long. I got to get re-familiar with the pattern. But again, I just have a little bit of color work, I think on the sleeves. And um, yeah, then I'll be done. I've got the body done. So just do it, right? It's, it's almost season to wear it. It's almost the time. Okay, I'm not going to talk about that yet. I did work on this one. Cadence, I think, is done with her body. So I worked on this one a little bit. And this is surprisingly fast as well. This is the Westbourne. So if you see, um, go to any of our fingering pages, you will find this link there. I'm using Copper Corgi for my main color. And this is 29 Bridges Surrey Silk. You do not need to use the Surrey Silk. You can just use another contrast color, I guess. Or you could probably not even do, do any stripes. The thing I like about it is there's some shaping. Um, and I'm at the part where I'm now going back out. Here, that's, that's a better way to hold it. Um, doing increases. And then I'll do my curved bottom. And thank you, Suzanne. I, I don't know if you're talking about this one or the one I'm holding up. But Suzanne says she loves my sweater. Thank you. 
So this is uh, just a fun one to pick up. I'm not really sure what I, uh, these faux seams, maybe I talked about this before. You can't even see, I'm not sure why they do that little pearl edge on the side. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. I don't like them just being that stitch. But there we go. This is an Isabel Kramer Westbourne pattern. And hopefully I like to have this one done soon too. Yes, yes. All right. This one I'm going to wait. Oh, so I have worked on this a little bit more. And hopefully you guys can see some growth. I don't know. But I, I, I can tell you I have because I've weighed the ball. So I know that. This is the Painted Plains. And, you know, I just kind of work on this a little bit at a time. I think I'm quite... No, I'm not quite ready. I, I finished... Usually I try to finish. So I finished here with my... The silver color. And then I'll start with this color. And that's when I'll start doing the... My little cable. The cable stitch. Which is super fun. So that's, like I said, might be a little gift for somebody. At the holidays. Oh yeah, so I even cut my yarn, so I'm ready for my next color. And this, this little guy is what I've been tracking because it looks like I don't have a lot left, but I'm more than halfway. And I think about halfway on this, so I should be fine. But I've, I've been watching that closely, but I think I could probably end at any time, as long as it's a good length. I do end with that color, so. That's Painted Plains. This is the Mermaid Tail colorway. We've got some on order, and we have On the Rocks is another colorway. So you can just... Oops, whoops, search that on our website, fuzzygoatyarns.com. Um, Suzanne likes the Pop Rocks. I'm telling you guys, this was a real fun one to do. Very fun. I would recommend it. It seemed to go really quickly. I don't know if it's because I like the colors, so I ended up picking up more, but I just felt like it just, because there was always something going on, it was fun. Okay, so this one, I've got to revisit my color work situation. I have finished the color work on this. So I'm not going to hold it up too closely because I, well, maybe I should. So I decided now that I'm not in the chart and not doing the color work, you can see definitely a difference in my tension. So my thought is I need to do my color work in a smaller needle. I know they sometimes say that because it looks like I'm just loosey-goosey. Although up here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Up here I am tighter, but it was the beginning. The stitches definitely look tighter. And then I just got, you know, grooving along, got loosey-goosey. I think I will block it. I'm not going to soak block. Like, I'm not going to, I'm going to dunk it. And it's not, I was wondering if it had something to do with when I changed the way I was carrying the yarns. It <clears throat> does not have anything to do with that. But I'm hoping, like, a dunk will just kind of even out the stitches. I'm definitely, I think now I'm seeing it clearly, definitely tighter when I'm just going around and around. So, anybody else out there have to do that? Hey, Harriet, how are you doing? Um, anybody else out there have to go to a smaller needle? I know that the people have designed, or, you know, dyed or whatever, have said that that's, some people have to do that. And I just wonder, I probably should do my swatch that way. But, yeah, I know all these things, but we'll see. Okay, so this is, a, this is why I have to be careful with this one. This is my lemon twist lemon spritz lemon spritz sorry lemon spritz tea be very careful because I am on double points for the sleeve it did take me I really wanted to finish one of these sleeves yesterday but I just couldn't do it um it was taking it was making me have to focus too much so Harriet you gotta come see us Harriet is a local here and we've been missing her she's been having some hip issues so hopefully she'll come see us soon and I this is, okay oh it is coming out um so you so once you finish the sleeve so i did you pick up the sleeve okay there we go and you finished you know i don't know i think i did four rows it wasn't very much then you are going to do the ribbing except it's done perpendicular so like you do a cast on so this is my cast on let's just say this way and when I get to the end, I pick up a stitch from this, the selvage over here. And then you knit them together. Going So you're slowly attaching this, which seems like a lot of work. I am not going to lie. That just seems like a lot of work. But I like the way it's looking. So it's just taking me longer. I thought I would have one sleeve done. I don't even know about the leaf. I haven't even gone there yet. But 
I'm planning to do the leaf. I hope I have this all right. It says on the top, you're supposed to put these little markers and this is where the leaf is gonna go. It's gonna tie it. So that's where I am with that. I am using my double points like a good girl. Like I guess I don't, you could use whatever, I guess, actually, as long as you have two of the same size. So this is it. Sorry, it's a mess. I think once I'm gonna block this too and let it hopefully settle down a little bit. It fits nice, so I'm excited about that. Maybe I'll get to wear it this season um, before it gets too cold. Who am I kidding? It doesn't really get that cold here. All right, let's get that in there. Um, all right, so that's lemon spritz tea. That was the knit along with Marie Green. This one I think I picked up, I'm not even sure. Again, this is hot right now. It's still hot for me to pull this out. Um, I need, I probably need to try it on again. I think I just did, and I'm not sure I got that much further. I need, did I? Maybe I put a, hold on guys, I'm sorry, I'm all tangled here. I thought maybe I put a progress, I did put a progress keeper, okay, good. Cause you know, sometimes, yeah, I'm not, didn't go very far. <laughs> didn't go very far at all. Um, but this is fun, it's gonna be nice and soft. Um, thinking I probably won't go as long as they suggested. And I can't remember if it was like 15, 15 inches or something like that. So I could always do the ribbing. This is going to be a split rib too, like, um, like the weekender. So I can all, and I might do something funky. Like the front might be one color cause it's supposed to be a quick contrast color, but I'm Jimmy jogging with the uh, yarns I have cause I have some, not a whole lot of some and more of others. And so maybe I'll do the extra length here because it feels like it's getting heavy and bulky. But I do like the neckline, so I'm gonna have to try it on one more time. But this is the Peach Fuzz, so super fun. You can kind of do whatever you want, which really, guys, you can do with any pattern. Patterns are just a suggestion, but it is nice to have those guidelines. I agree. But again, I, I think I've gone kind of rogue on this because like you see the front here, I think this is what I was calling the front. It has the stripes like that, but I didn't have enough yarn, so I left the back solid, which I think is really kind of cool. So yeah, peach fuzz. Um, there was something, oh, I have, my friend and I, we were playing bridge one day, and my friend is also from, originally from Midwest. And somebody said the term jihan. And I wanna know how many of you out there have heard this term, jihan. It, it is a legit term. Somebody in the shop used it this weekend, and I went, like, really? Madeline, have you heard of that term? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. see? Madeline's from the South. Do you use it a lot? No. It is hilarious. So, My dad says it. Does he? So, you know, it's like they're grooving, they're getting along, right? They're meshing, whatever, but jihan. And, um... My husband had on football because, you know, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And they... the quarterback was just connecting with one of his receivers and said, he's really Jihan. And my husband looked at me and said, what? What does that mean? Kind of funny. But Jihan, it's definitely a Southern term. You are the boss of your sweater. I love that, Teresa. You are absolutely right. And patterns are just a mere suggestion. What do I do with this bag? Here it is. Um, okay, so I have just one more that I want to show you guys. And Sue, I'm just laughing. I need to pull out my, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull out my, what am I going to pull out? My, oh, what's happening here? <laughs> Keep pulling the ball. Um, my drawing sweater. So I'm going to pull it out tonight and just touch it. Look at the pattern. Because sometimes that makes me feel better. Football is great. Knitting time. I agree, Sue. But it's on forever. And it's also the beginning of hockey season. Which means sports every night and that just gets really old to me it just gets old and and I can do a team I can follow a team in football I can follow a team in hockey but I can't follow three on the same night I can't do it all right so this is and I meant to print a picture out of this let's see if I can because when I printed my pattern I didn't print all, there's like 14 pages of this particular pattern we had a customer that made many of these and they were adorable so I was kind of waiting until my nephew's son was a little bit older but apparently he's running on the, the higher end of his height and weight okay let's see if i've got a picture here this is called the wonderful wallaby for kids okay it is a pullover let's see if i can see i didn't print the first page but i think there's a picture in here or a diagram it is a pullover like a sweatshirt hooded sweatshirt and it has a little like like oh um wallabies have the those animals and that have like kangaroos that have the little 
Um, oh, Sue's saying she, I'm, Sue, I'm just giving you a hard time. So I, I Sue was saying she just she wanted to know because she wanted to knit it. I totally I understand, and I will. I am. I haven't forgotten about it, about my drawing sweater. So I will. Uh, hopefully next week, maybe you'll see it. So this is some pictures of it. See, they got a little pooch. Is that what you call it? A little poochy thingy. And um, the smallest size they have, I think it, they actually have it in adult sizes too. This is for children. The smallest size they have. <gasps> Sue's made this. See, I think it's very popular. And um, I, the smallest size they have is, I, they call it a two. I'm assuming it's a two T. My nephew's going to be a year. I figure this would be a good time. So it can be a little big on him. Maybe if he gets another year out of it. And then I can just make another one. So I am using, just put that in the right direction. I am going to be, it's a worsted weight, so you can make it, um, oh, you made one an adult. Okay, I, I think that would be kind of fun. Did you, I'm one curious, did you use striping yarn? So I, I went as far as got my needles, because I was really ready to do this, but then I realized the pattern wanted you to start with a sleeve, and I didn't want to start with a sleeve, which I probably should start with a sleeve, because I'm using so, striping, so I probably want the sleeves to be the same. I got it, see, it's too much thought in that. I just want to knit. But anyway, so this is going to be, look at those fun colors. Um, and this is going to be striping. So maybe it doesn't matter if the sleeve stripes don't match. I probably will pull, I think, some from each end, maybe for the sleeves and hold it. Sue's variegated, and it was at least 12 years ago. Wow. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited to do this. Again, it's, I'm hoping to have it done by Christmas. It's, it's for a two-year-old, so I'm, maybe it won't take. It only takes two skeins of the Worsted Earth self-striping. And I don't think I have this up on our product page, so I will put it up there on the Earth um, Worsted self-striping. This self-striping, to me, is addicting because it's like you just want to see what the next thing is gonna, that comes up. So, anyway, I think that's what I have for you guys. Yep. Um, please check us out on fuzzygoatyarns.com. Let us know if I'm go Sue, I was kind of worried about the pattern because um, there's a lot of pages, but I have to remind myself that means there's a lot of instructions, so that's good. Um, but check us out on um, our website, fuzzygoatyarns.com. Text us, email us, call us. We'd love to hear from you and would love to help you plan your next project. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Take care. Bye.